All right, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Every time I start one of these moto vlogs, I'm hungry as sh like I'm so hungry. But we're just not gonna eat because I don't know. I don't feel like it. But literally, I I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna talk about, like at all. Okay, it's looking gonna be cold too. You can go. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Don't know what she was doing. Oh my god, it's cold as sh It's so cold. Hey, I'm a meat crayon. I'm a meat crayon today. Today I'm a meat crayon. Is that the sound of a blinker? Somebody's yelling at me, I can hear it. Bro, this is gonna take forever, I already know it is. F this, bro. I'm not gonna lie, if you don't go, right here I'm gonna have to go for you. Talk about how hungry I am. I'm so hungry right now that I could eat food. Hey, 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 hey! What are you doing? I know <laughs> they wanted to get over. It's President's Day, so shout out to all the presidents that allowed uh, the United States for freedom and allowed young men to just hop on a thousand cc as their first bike. Shout out to America, America. Land of the free. Oh, I'm about to get so cold. Can already tell. I'm trying to make this light. Come on. Look at the moon. I don't even know if I can see that. The moon's out in the day. My inner werewolf is. <laughs> Let's stop. <laughs> Hey, look at the shadow. Does it look cool? No, it doesn't. God damn, I'm back over the first gear! It's making me want to do dumb shot. Oh, it's so cold right now, holy shit. What are you doing? What if like, I just wasn't paying attention I just... Hey, Texas exit! Or Texas ramp. That's where they just get on the freeway whenever they want, because America. And should I lane split through all this? Nah, nah, let me chill, let me chill, let me chill, let me chill. I really need something to talk about. Oh, okay. Today we're going to talk about, okay, so today's video we're talking about what it's like to start on a 1000cc as your first bike. I have literally zero prior experience riding any type of street motorcycle in my life before touching my CBR. I rode a 50cc little Kawasaki dirt bike whenever I was like six years old and, and I don't think I ever got out of first gear in that bike so like I didn't even know how to use a clutch or anything because my dad just wouldn't let me get out of first gear because it was too dangerous or something I don't know but um so yeah I, I basically have no, no experience on motorcycles and I mean I'd say the hardest thing for me, okay, it's a really, I'm not trying to be like cocky or brag, but there really wasn't anything that hard about starting on a 1000. Like, it's it's not, to me, it was not hard. Like, obviously, it's not the same for everyone. Me being six foot does help, like, stand whenever I want on the bike. Like, that is kind of a good secure factor. Um, so, being taller does help, but that's kind of like a terrible like advice because you can't really control that but <laughs> just grow I don't know what to tell you um yeah I can't imagine being short I don't know so um 
but one like actual thing about riding that was maybe okay well when i first hopped on this bike and i went around like a neighborhood like i really understood how sensitive the throttle really is on a, on a bike like obviously i have nothing to compare it to but like i was like whenever i touched the throttle it was like almost like i would go like this and like my hand would get like stuck to the throttle it felt like because it was just so much power from such a little amount of move it um and like i just barely moved it and like it would just like it was like my hand gets stuck like that but that's just how it was and so i guess realizing and understanding how touchy the throttle really is on a 1000 is like it's it's absurd it really is like you don't understand it until you go and put it in first gear and just give it the slightest see so you know what i'm saying the slightest bit of throttle and it's gonna go like aggressively it's not very forgiving it's not forgiving at all it's probably the least forgiving bike you could possibly start on um but i knew what i was getting myself into whenever i told myself that i was gonna go with that was on the first bike like i didn't go into it thinking like like i don't know i mean i obviously knew what i was getting myself into like why else would i do this if i didn't know what i was getting myself into like i feel like that's what a lot of people fail to realize they just think i just hopped on a thousand like not knowing anything like obviously i knew some sh okay i knew I, I trusted myself enough to learn the capabilities of learning how to ride a motorcycle on a terrible starter bike do i regret it not one bit i think it's the best choice i ever made um is it stupid dangerous and put yourself at risk like all the time i mean yeah but is it the most fun i've ever had in my entire life also yeah so what are we really you know what i'm saying what are we really pick and choose that's all i gotta say pick and choose but honestly i'd say as much as i want to say it doesn't matter what bike you start on that really doesn't apply for everyone because like i know like starting on a 1000 isn't for everyone like not everyone can do that um it's a it's a big risk to take um and honestly it's such high risk small reward like i i took a big risk and and yeah like i i obviously know how to ride a motorcycle i can do some shit other people can't do um and i'm doing it at a pretty quick pace compared to others um but like the reward isn't too huge i mean what i can just go fast can corner a little bit can wheelie a little bit does it look cool sure is it fun yes i think the biggest reward is just you get to have more fun um people say that i miss out the fun of a uh, 400 and 600 i'm telling you right now i'm having plenty of fun and i promise you if i got a 400 i can tell you right now if i got a 400 on my first bike i would 100 percent regret it because i would have been like bro this thing is so slow i topped my bike out this bike three days after i got it so i know i would have topped my ninja 400 out in the first 12 minutes of me having it and i would have been like okay where's the upgrade and i would have done the same thing i would have just hopped on a 1000 after a week of having a ninja 400 so that i just saw no point of getting a 400 and people are gonna be like oh boy you can't you can't learn the fundamentals of riding if i you can't learn the fundamentals of riding if you start on a what thousand bro shut the fuck up holy fuck that's so annoying like it's not that hard for me it wasn't i mean i know it doesn't go for everyone but i don't know maybe i'm just a quick learner I you're aware even if it doesn't matter what motorcycle you need to be aware but i'd say the more powerful the bike is the more aware you need to be uh, not of your surroundings but also of yourself and know your limits because all i have to do is this and i can go 180 miles an hour that's it that's all i have to do and that is that's a lot of power to have to yourself it's 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 a lot of power it's a good feeling to know that you have that much power um it's difficult at times to not always go 180 like it's really fun and like it feels good every time it never gets old but you're putting yourself at a extremely high risk and low reward literally the, the high risk is everything that can go wrong and the low reward is what like a million views on instagram that literally means nothing but i don't know my bike is getting so hot i might have to hop on the highway for real someone in my comments was like obviously 
I just hope you wear your gear instead of trying to be cool because you want to start on a 1000. Bro, my goal was never to be cool. I really don't give a about being cool. I don't give a shit. I just like riding motorcycles. Like that's it. I don't care about the bike community. I don't care about any of that shit. Like yes, I have an Instagram, but bro, I don't care about any of that shit. I literally just like riding my motorcycle. That's it. And if you don't like the way I ride it, what fuck up? I don't give a fuck. Like I don't know what to tell you. That guy's gonna fly open. Hopefully he does it. Oh, one thing about not wearing gear whenever you're on the highway is the little rocks that fly up and hit your skin. It feels like someone's tickling you. <laughs> it feels funny. Now y'all comment that my skin is uh, perfect. I think I just have a good uh, skin color. I wouldn't say my skin is perfect. Um, but if someone asked my skin routine, my skin routine is the sun, bro. Are you shitting me? Why? Look, okay, also, so I'm in hyperview right now with my, with my Hero 11 or Hero 12 on, on my helmet. So, like, that right there, it probably looked like that car didn't get that close, but bro, that car was a lot closer than you think it was. Like, everything looks far away with hyperview. Um, but I promise you that car was way closer than you think it was. Like, why did you even change lanes like that? Who the fuck does that? Who does that, bro? Bro, I love these gloves. I got these gloves not that long ago. But they do not keep my hands warm at all. Like, like at all. My black ones keep them way more warm. It's because, like, these had, they have these openings right here. I don't know. I'm so hungry, bro. I'm so hungry. I'm, like, always hungry. This is almost where I died, I think. Is this where I almost died? No, nah, I think it was farther back. Roll the clip. Yeah, don't do that. I like flying under these bridges. Roll the clip. Yeah. Don't do that. But it's fun. <laughs> Bro, that's the time it's talking about. It totals so crazy. <laughs> I just downshifted and pushed the lid. I need new tires. <laughs> it's honestly kind of fun sliding though. It's like drifting low key. Hey, look at the shadow. just did a clutch up but I, I'm not doing a clutch up at first gear bro I'm not doing that shit. first gear is so touchy I'm a fan of second gear about I don't know six seven thousand rpm pulling the clutch rev it to about nine thousand ten thousand dump the clutch that's what I'm a fan of Right up, clean and smooth, around 60 to 65 miles per hour in second gear is a sweet spot for me. The only thing I need to do next is I get it up just fine and I, I throttle it just fine, but I run out of RPM, so I just need to work on switching to third gear. During the wheelie. That's a big bump right there. I wonder if I hit that with my bike car jump. Probably would. No way I make this light. I've never made this light in my entire life. I'm just gonna point that out. So if I make this light, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my. Ah, I just got edged. I just got edged by a yellow light. I'm at the front of the line. Why are my brakes so squeaky? I want to start playing my music and see if y'all can hear it. I wonder if I have enough time. Hello? 
Why is my phone not connected? Why didn't it say phone connected? I don't know which light's gonna turn next. So I don't wanna have my gloves off and not be able to go. The one time I'm in front of the line, I don't want to be in front of the line. It's them! Get my phone out! Turn the music! No! Hey, hey, hey! This is a slow to reverb playlist. It's pretty random songs, so don't judge me. I think I made it when I was in like 8th grade. <laughs> Man, he took that corner like a G. Hey, we're 12 at. We're 12 at. Oh. <laughs> I'm dead, bro. That would have been bad. I want to meet another biker. Where are the bikes at? It's a nice day outside, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> what the is that? Bro, Texas drivers are built so different, I swear. What the f is that? <laughs> bro, I want to jump this shit. this right here? I want to get my bike and fucking like half pipe it. You know what I'm saying? Like a skateboard. Y'all ever just want to go the wrong way on the street? Like in GTA? Like just cuz? Just cuz? Or is that just me? Stay green. Stay green if... If I'm the best motorcycle rider in the world. Let's go! As I fucking <laughs> ride the shit out of the clutch, <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, this car has been here for two days! Did they just leave it here? I don't know what the song is. I'm not gonna play my ride playlist because my ride playlist is straight like, like, do dangerous, you know what I'm saying? Like this. So I'm not gonna play that playlist. I'm not gonna play it. Because I don't wanna do dangerous. Wait. Ah! Okay, I just had to get my, um, the scream that y'all like. I realize I haven't screamed today. That's the ultimate brother right there. Look at that guy. Oh my gosh, should I like... Oh my gosh, wait, let's see. Think I'm gonna run into him? Oh! Oh! I wanna touch it. Oh my god, that car's flying. I want to touch the AT wheeler! Ah! Ah, it's so cold! Whoa, why is she driving like this? <laughs> I want to slap, I want to slap every one of these cars' asses.
make sure 12 ain't following me, cuh. Sorry, my hand slipped. Look how aggressive that shit is, bro! Oh shit! Oh shit! Alright, it's gonna be the end of the video.